if we check the Android folder, we can find subfolder. Its name is Sample, and this is, in fact, um, a simple hybrid application for the Android platform that use PhoneGap. We can create a new project in our Eclipse IDE based on this project. We just need to select File, New, Project. Let's select Android Project. Next, let's select Create, create Project from Existing Source. Let's specify the location. And as you can see, uh, the wizard is immediately updated with the setting of this project. So we can select Finish and get the project opened in our Eclipse IDE. Now, if we take a look at the code itself, we can find a definition for a simple class that extends DroidGap. DroidGap is a class that uh, PhoneGap developers uh, developed for us, so we can, instead of uh, extending activity, we can extend DroidGap and then all of those methods and um, the droid gap uh, includes are, are inherited to the new class we defined. So we can, for example, invoke uh, load URL, a method that uh, droid gap uh, defines, a method that can uh, receives the URL address for the um, uh, for the web content we want to render in our um, hybrid application. In this case, in this code sample, the URL address is for a specific file in assets. If we check the assets folder, we can find uh, within that folder the subfolder www and here we can find the index.html uh, the web content this code sample renders. We can open that file and here we can find um, link element for um, CSS file specific for this code sample but more important is um, this uh, script element that refers the PhoneGap JavaScript file. In this code sample, uh, the JavaScript file is simply uh, within the assets folder, uh, in the same folder where the index.html file uh, is sav saved. In this code sample developed by PhoneGap, we also can find a separated JavaScript file main.js with uh, uh, functions in JavaScript. Um, this code sample use, but when you s choose PhoneGap, the only JavaScript file you need to uh, keep either part of your uh, application or uh, have it available from the server is the only JavaScript file is this specific file that include the definitions for uh, PhoneGap uh, JavaScript functions. If you want, you can open it. This is the PhoneGap JavaScript library. The only reason uh, we get uh, error messages such as DroidGap cannot be resolved, uh, the only reason for that is uh, the fact that the build path is not uh, configured to um, include the jar file. This is um, the jar file that includes all of those uh, classes PhoneGap defines. So we just need to update the build path. So let's uh, select our project, build path, and select add external archives, and select the PhoneGap jar file. Now, as you can see, everything should be um, OK. And we can move forward and um, 
execute this code sample. So let's select example app, the project. Let's right click and select run as run configuration and here let's say uh, create a new configuration for uh, Android application. Let's select the project. We can keep the launch default activity. Let's select target and specify the emulator on which we want to execute this code sample and let's um, let's press run. Now if we take a look at the outcome we can actually see a very nice um, uh, sample application that uh, shows off the capabilities when using the PhoneGap library. Well I recommend on um, executing this code sample on a real answer so you can uh, get to feel how does it look when selecting getting a picture for example and you will get to see how the camera activity is executed and later the image data is returned back to the JavaScript code in your web application, hybrid application.